Welcome to the Module 7 Lesson 15 Debrief Questions. Today we're dealing with perimeter and our first question deals with real world application. Is there a real world application that you could use to find a perimeter? Why would you need to find the perimeter of something? Well, I think too many of the projects I do in my house. If I want to put down flooring, I need to know the perimeter for when I put up the trim. So how much trim do I need to wrap the actual border of the room? Or if I'm trying to fit in a refrigerator into a spot, into a cabinet that I built, will the outside perimeter of that cabinet be big enough for the refrigerator to fit in? Or if I want to make a pool in a backyard, I need to know how big of a shape I can make. Can I make a perimeter of 50 feet, 60 feet, 70 feet? How big of a perimeter can I use to get the max size pool in? So there's lots of different real world applications, but my real world application for finding perimeter might be a little bit different than yours. I'd be curious if you could come up with a real world application of finding perimeter that you could use, that would be useful to you. So please let me know if you come up with one. And our next question says, can you find the perimeter of a circle? Or how do you find the perimeter of a circle? Well, it wouldn't make sense to try and wrap it with a straight edge because it won't bend around a circle. Now, maybe if you had a flexible ruler, you could wrap it around a circle. But to me, the easiest way to find the perimeter of a circle would be to take a string and just line the outside of the circle with the string and when the beginning of it touches the end, you measure that amount of string and that will tell you how many inches or centimeters or feet your circle is around. So you don't always have to use just a straight edge. You can use the string and then measure how long the string is. All right, I do hope that some of you will send me your real world examples of how you could use perimeter. Have a good day.